So another day totally getting blasted out by trails. We can see there's trail here. You can see there's nothing out in the north just because they didn't put anything out in the north. I see one uh, light trail out here. So for some reason uh, that's starting to dissipate. Yet all of this is building up. Now you can see, if you watch it for a minute, none of it's moving, none of it's morphing. None of it is blowing. Somehow water vapor uh, is immune to the uh, currents in the airstream. Doesn't move. Just sits there in place. And if you see uh, videos on YouTube, people using frequencies and speakers to control uh, flows of water coming out of a hose, you can actually freeze water in place using frequencies maybe I'll try and cut one of those videos and uh, you can actually reverse the stream of water using frequencies and we saw the Dr. Remoto experiments where he uses frequencies to make different patterns in uh, standing water so you know you gotta understand your body is, is made mostly of water so if you got frequencies going through your body daily, Wi-Fi and EMF and cell towers, it's reorganizing, restructuring those uh, water molecules in your body. You know, that's, that's science. It's not a conspiracy. So all of these idiots that, oh, cell towers are fine and Wi-Fi is fine and all of this good stuff, they're denying the fact that frequencies can restructure water molecules. So, people like to, to pick and choose their sciences, and, and people in the chemtrail community are guilty of that as well, but you can't, you know, call everything conspiracy if there's something behind it. So, we drove out over the town before, every inch of everywhere is sprayed with totally air, airplane trails. I didn't see one natural cloud. And you see none of this is moving, none of it's morphing, nothing. Like a frozen picture. Water. To us it seems quite simple. But more and more people discover things about water that are quite remarkable. One of them is Dr. Masaru Emoto, a water researcher from Japan. He wondered if water, just like snowflakes do, would make ice crystals. He began to freeze water for three hours by a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius and photographed them under a microscope. Beautiful structured ice crystals appeared. And they even appeared to be all different depending from which water they were taken. But the most revolutionary discovery was done as water was exposed to music. Water exposed to music showed beautiful crystals. But what does this prove? At least it confirms the statement of Einstein that everything is energy. And it seems that the French scientists Jacques Benevista was right when he suggested that water has a memory. But does this discovery, due to the fact that we consist for 70% of water, has any significance for us in daily life?
try 25 hertz. 25? Okay. Try 24. So 24 freezes it. I said 224. 223. How about do 23 and do a second one that's 20 Five. Same time. How about twenty three and twenty four? 